This is going to be my January favorites, although I don't really have that many. I think ordinarily I like to have a lot more items to do a monthly favorites video, but I had surgery a couple of weeks ago and I haven't had on makeup since before then. This is the first time I've put on makeup in probably at least three weeks. So I don't have that many items. I'll tell you of the few items that I do have just to be able to put something up. Um, I If I didn't have any, I wouldn't be doing this video. So don't think that just because I have a video that I'm just like throwing things together and telling you that they're my favorite when they're not. I, I legit like these products. They are my favorite products. So I decided I had enough things that I would go ahead and do a favorites video even though I've kind of been out of the loop. I didn't film one for December. Did I film one for November? I can't remember. Let's go ahead and get into this. I have like hella dry skin. As dry as it gets, that's what I am. I have a whole lot of trouble with my skin in the winter. I have not had any luck getting my husband to move me to a warmer climate. So until that happens, I'm going to continue to have awful time in the winters with my skin. I'm always looking for new products that just like work wonders with dry skin. One of the things that I've been trying and really liking over the last month, I don't Ultra Bella, Ultra et, Etra Bella. I'm gonna put it on the screen so that I don't butcher it and like offend three or four different countries just in trying to say this title. It's an aloe vera moisturizing gel and it is amazing. Like it's probably just aloe vera and it's like and I don't know maybe I've just never tried aloe vera before. Have I tried it before? I'm not sure. I'm trying it now and I really, really, really like this. I put this on, I wash my face, and then I put this on right on my skin before I go in with any of my oils and serums, and I have really, really been liking this. It just seems to really get in there and do the trick. I go in with this, and then, where'd it go? And then I go in with my rosehip oil, Rosehip oil just needs to be in my favorites video, like every favorites video that I ever do from here on out needs to have rosehip oil in it because it is just that good. If you're not using rosehip oil, you need to be. If you are dry, if you're oily, if you're anything in between, it is amazing. It's so good for so many different things. So I recently did a video on, on rosehip oil, so I will link it right up here for you if you want to um, check that out. You can. You cannot be too young or too old to ever start using it. Rosehip oil, then argan, and then coconut oil. Those are, that is my, that's my list anyway. It is just so, so, so good, so good. And then recently I rediscovered, I got this as a sample a while back. I wanna say it was a glossy box maybe. Um, this is Balance Me Extra Care Wonder Eye Cream, 
and it soothes, brightens, and lifts for all skin types. It really does do what it says. It soothes, it brightens, and it lifts. So I have started using this again in January and I am starting to run out and it's making me a little bit sad so I might actually have to get it. Hopefully it's not crazy expensive as is most items that work as well as this one does but I will I'll link it down below I have not tried looking it up yet <laughs> hopefully it's not too too bad we shall see it works recently I was going through my mascaras and rediscovered this mascara from Smashbox. This is the Photo Op Eye Brightening Mascara. It looks like this. I had I hadn't tried it because it was from Smashbox and I and I absolutely love the um, Maybelline the falsies. That whole line I have not tried any of the falsies mascaras really that I haven't liked I just love that that whole line and I feel like if you find a drugstore item that you that you like that much it's like why try anything else that's twice as expensive or more so I hadn't tried this but I had run out of my Fossies, and so I pulled this out and tried it and this is exactly the reason why I don't like to try them in the first place because I absolutely love this love it it is so black so creamy I love the wand everything about this mascara is just perfection it's just a little tiny wand I mean it's not the tiniest wand but it's not great big fat wand like some of the falsies wands are. So this works really great on your lower lash line as well. I I am not a fan of like the spidery, clumpy, goopy, thick eyelash mascara look. I am not a fan of that. I I just want it to fan it out and I prefer lengthening and a little bit of volume. Not a whole lot of volume, just a little bit um, for my lashes and I like it to be black. That's it. I don't want it to get clumpy or goopy and this does all those things. It's black. It's the perfect combination of volume and length. It's just a beautiful foundation and I I love how it works on the lower lash line and it doesn't get all over the place. It's a really, really great mascara. Again, all of these items, I will link all of the details down in the description box below so that you can take a look into them for yourself if you're interested. I'll leave those down below. If you watched my last video, it was um, a tutorial, a link it up here. I used the new NYX Cosmic Metals Lip Cream and I was very pleasantly surprised. I found three different NYX Cosmic Metal shades. It was like um, an emerald, a sapphire, so green, blue, and then this fuchsia, this hot pink color. And I figured of the three colors, I would rather try the pink. And I was pretty sure I wasn't going to like it, so I'd already picked out who I was going to give it to after the video that I used it for. But then I tried it. I put it on in the video, and you guys, sorry Lindsay, but I am keeping this one. It is hot pink 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 but so beautiful and I love the metallic love it 
I re I just love everything about this. It is so comfortable to wear. I know liquid lipsticks can be drying, but this is right on. It's called a lip cream, and it is. It's very creamy. It is very comfortable. It lasts a long time. It does actually transfer. It's not like a liquid lipstick where it's on and dries down and then it's not going anywhere. This does transfer, but I didn't I don't even mind that. It is so beautiful. The only thing that I can say about this is that when it was time for me to retouch it, to touch it up, um, I went to touch it up and then it strung up and it was sticking to my teeth and it was a mess. So if you try the NYX, if you try this Cosmic Metals line, I would suggest when it's time for retouching, wipe it off and start over. Just start over from scratch and that way, because the first application is beautiful, the second application was a mess. It was a mess. So just wipe it off and start over and you won't have any problems. Just avoid it. That's the only thing that I can say, but I'm keeping this and I will absolutely been we I will be wearing this again in the future. It is a beautiful color and is so comfortable, easy to wear. I loved everything, everything. So beautiful. This is from the brand Soap and Glory. I got this little sample of Pillow Plump XXL and it is a lip plumper, obviously. And this this shade is such a cute shade. This is in the shade Pink Well and it is just a kind of a sheer pink lip gloss with um iridescent glitter in it which is so beautiful and I was using this I when I start my makeup I put this on so that it can be doing its whole plumping thing so that by the time I get to my lips it's finished working and I can go in with my lip liner and the rest of my lip steps but then I noticed that Ulta had Soap and Glory, and it's taken me probably six trips to Ulta checking, and I've only been able to get two shades of it. I liked it so much that I wanted to get the full size shades. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker. Um, I really want to grow my collection, and I, I haven't ordered um, anything from Ulta online recently to be able to throw it in the order so just the last few times that I've been to Ulta I just go check out the Soap and Glory display and see what shades they happen to have on their shelves because of the problems that I've had with my my Ulta not being able to keep up their inventory, I've only been able to get two shades. So I have Spun Sugar. Spun Sugar, like I put it on my hand, but you're not even gonna be able to see it. It is clear and it's got iridescent glitters in it. It is such a beautiful just topper for any lipstick that you wanna put it on. I just like to put it on the back of my hand and then use a lip brush and put it right on my lips because I find that with colors this light, since it's clear, if I were to use the brush that comes in the tube, whatever I happen to have on my lips, I'm just putting it right back in the tube and then this is just, it won't stay clear for long. I'll end up contaminating the whole thing. So I just put it right on the back of my hand and then put it right on my top of my lipstick with a lip brush and then this is called nude star this also doesn't show up on the back of my hands but it is just it's more of a nudie shade very similar to what I have on right now actually on my lips right now it is a kind of a nudish 
pinkish brown with iridescent glitter in it the same as the sponge sugar it's just a little bit darker color and I do the same thing if I'm wearing a nude lip like this I'll just put it right on right on top because it won't contaminate the color if I were to use it but if I'm using anything much darker than what I have on right now I prefer to put it on the back of my hand and then put it right on my lips with a brush and that keeps the color from changing too much over time okay so like that's pretty much everything that's like all that I have for you guys I'm really sorry I wish I had a better unless you're bored of me you're probably bored of me in which case you're welcome I will link everything in the description bar below in case you are interested in checking out these items for yourself what were your favorites have you been trying out some new things that you have just loved lately i would love to hear about them i learn a lot about um things that i try from other beauty connoisseurs is that right beauty connoisseurs enthusiasts other beauty people so let me know down below what were some of your favorite items over the last month what are some things that you've really loved and we can talk below thank you so much for watching this favorites video and I look forward to talking to you guys again next time thank you so much for watching Bye guys!